Hey, I'm Ben with RI3D Redux, and we're here with Robot in Three Days. We're going to show a more full rate robot. This one's probably around 110 pounds without bumper and battery to get on uh, the charging station um, to show how it behaves in a couple different configurations. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Stryker is one of the world leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash FIRST. First of all, the angle that this ramp starts at right here should be 34 degrees. This side is at spec. This side is not. This one's more at 39 degrees. So with this, we have the Swerve Drive Specialties MK4i. It has um, the bumpers about an inch and a half off the floor, and we're going to go ahead and drive onto the ramp. So that was driving up slightly off square. Go ahead and drive off. Now we're going to square up and do it a little bit more on square. So as you can see, if you approach the driver, the charging station square, this particular configuration is pretty smooth. Now, if you build your ramp where it has a higher angle, we look at this other side, and this is one of the things that we had in our prior video. We're going to come at it, and it can't go up the ramp because the angle is too great. Again, this side that it drove up is in spec. This side is not. So just to make, uh, make that note for teams that as you design your charging station, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have an accurate representation of what the angle is in order to make sure that the robot that you design can get up on the charging station. So I'm Ben, I'm with the RA3D Redux team and make sure you check out the other videos that we got up on Fun's YouTube channel, thanks. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash FIRST. Stryker is one of the world leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. Thank you to all of our suppliers and sponsors for the Robot in Three Days Redux and Kettering Bulldogs programs.